Welcome everyone, I am Chesinda, working as assistant professor, department of mathematics from Rathnam College of Arts and Science. Today I am going to take the topic graph theory, which is comes under the subject allied mathematics for computer science. Okay. Graph theory, graph theory it is a branch of mathematics which deals with the graph, the mathematical structure. The graph uh, uh, graph shows the relationship between the objects. Okay. There are a lot of plenty of applications are available for graph theory. Uh, when there is a network, there is an application of graph theory. These are the examples of graph theory uh, applications. Applications of graph theory. The computer network and the railway network structure and in any transportation problem we can find a network. Similarly, the shortest uh, path problem in between two cities we can identify those by graph theory. Uh, for applying graph theory we have to familiar with uh, the basic terminology. Uh, many properties are based on the degree of the graphs and the adjacency incidence we uh, can, we are we will be discuss this uh, these terms in today's lecture okay next first first we are defining what is a graph a graph is written as g is it's denoted by g and it's written as g of v comma e it is an ordered pair it is an order pair of set of vertices P and the set of edges. Set of vertices is also called as points or nodes. Similarly, the set of edges is called, so called lines or arcs. Uh, for an example, if we take the transportation problems, we have uh, bus in road transportation problem. There will be bus terminals. Similarly, that in between the terminals, there will be a roads. The terminals are called as nodes and uh, the uh, roads connecting these terminals are called the edges. Okay. Uh, we can const uh, construct graphs like this, where in G1 we are, con we are considering 5 nodes A, A, B, C, D, E. These are all terminal points otherwise called as nodes. The edges connecting between the lines connecting between the vertices are called edges. Uh, in G1, G2, G3 all these graphs are uh, graphs having degree uh, 5 number of vertices and there are 5 edges in this 3 graphs. Okay. Then we are going to look at what is finite graph. A finite graph in which the number of vertices and the number of edges is finite. That is the vertex set is finite and the edge set is finite. The set of vertices is denoted by the number of vertices in a graph is denoted by m and the number of edges in a graph is denoted by small n. If both the edge set and the vertex set are finite, then the graph is said to be finite graph. Okay. Uh, then uh, it is an another type of graph which uh, is called as directed graph. A directed graph is a graph in which the direction between the edges is mentioned. In previous case we, G1, G2, G3 on all three graphs there will there is no direction between these graphs but in this case there are there is an edge from there is an edge from a to b in this uh, in between a to b there is an edge but the edge is having an arrow which points to b that means there is a the edge is denoted by a to b a b or otherwise a b in in the directed graphs a b is different from b a that is there is a flow from a to b but no flow from 
B to A. Directed graph is otherwise called as digraph. Next. Okay, the example for the directed graph. The directed graph can be regarded as a one way road where traffic flow is permitted only in one direction. Uh, in this case V1, V1, V2 is an edge which means there is an edge from V and ending at V2. But it is different from V2, V1. Where V2, uh, in this edge V2 is a starting point and V1 is ed, ending point. V, so V1, uh, V1, V2 and the edge V2, V1 are completely different. The next concept is the degree of a vertex. The degree of a vertex is denoted by the uh, notation D of V or degree of V which is the number of edges connecting with the vertex. The number of edges connecting to a vertex is called degree of the particular vertex. If for a directed graph the degree in degree out degree should be defined. The in degree is the number of edges ending at the vertex V. If the if V is a vertex then the number of edges ending at V is called in degree. Similarly out degree is the number of edges beginning at V is called the out degree. It is denoted by out degree of V. Based on the degree of a vertex, we have, uh, there is a different classification for the vertex. First one, isolated vertex. Isolated vertex is said to, uh, is, what is an isolated vertex? If a vertex having degree 0, that means no edges connecting to the particular vertex. There is no edges connected, connecting to the particular edge, uh, vertex is called isolated vertex. Pendant vertex. Next one is pendant vertex. If there is a one single edge is connecting to a particular vertex, then the degree of the vertic, uh, vertex is pend, uh, one. Such a vertex is called as pendant vertex. Then odd vertex and even vertex. Odd uh, vertex is said to be odd if the degree of the vertex is odd. And the degree of a vertex is even then the vertex is known as even vertex. Next. Next. Hmm. Okay. For example, consider the graph A, B, C, D, E. This is a directed graph which having five vertex A, B, C, D, E and similarly there are five uh, vertices from A to B and B to C and D to e, uh, e to D, D to C and C to E uh, and also from B to C. There are six vertices, six edges in this graph. Okay. Previous. Previous. Okay. Degree of A. Degree of A is 1. If, it, if we consider it as a undirected graph. Since the, we have mentioned uh, the graph as directed graph, we have we classified the degree into two. First one is in degree and the out degree. In degree is the number of verte uh, edges ending at A. There is no vertex, in, uh, there is no edge which is ending at A. So the in degree is zero. And out degree of A, out degree of A is the number of edges originating at A. Uh, the number of edges originating at A is one. So the out degree is one. Similarly for B, the number of vertexes ending at B is 1 and number of vertices, uh, no sorry, number of edges is originating from B is 2. 
so the out degree is 2 so we can uh, calculate uh, the degree in degree and out degree for the remaining three vertices uh, suppose if we consider the degree uh, suppose we consider the graph as the direct uh, undirected graph then the degree of a is 1 and degree of b is 3 because there is uh, for an undirected graph for an undirected graph there is no uh, direction so there are three edges which are connecting to b so the degree of b, uh, b is 3 similarly degree of c is 3 since there are three vertex uh, three edges connecting to c uh, there are two theorem which is uh, which uses the concept of degree the second one is the most important one which says the number of vertices having odd degree in a graph always even the number of vertices of odd degree uh, is always even next ma'am next adjacency and incidence these are the uh, again two important terms in graph theory adjacency and incidence if two vertex so let us consider two vertex u and v the two vertex u and v are said to be adjacent if they have there is an edge between the uh, vertex u and the vertex v uh, so the u and v are said to be adjacent suppose we are considering the graph as a directed graph then u is said to be adjacent to v and v is said to be adjacent from v the edge is uh, the edge between u and uh, v is called as the edge is incident with the vertex u and uh, v that's it that's it for today's class in next class we are defining our theorem next 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 and the types of graph that's it for